Okay, I'm here with John Frank with Diffio, and he's going to explain their unique uh, technology. John? Thank you very much. The best way to start understanding Diffio is to understand the problem that we're solving. So to use George Heilmeier's catechism of questions to describe a new technology, let me say it without jargon. One of our big problems in IT and analyst uh, communities today is in order to find information, you often have to know what it is you're looking for and be able to express it explicitly as a keyword query. And if you think about modern search engines, it's even wrong for the search engine to bring back data that doesn't match your query. So we've even designed these, these large IT systems to prevent us from finding the things we didn't know to look for yet. That's the problem that Diffio is solving. How do we solve that? Well, today, without Diffio, you solve it by having brilliant analysts think about queries that they could use, and with the time they have, do the best they can, manually triaging massive data with keyword queries. We have a lot of technology that might be able to help in that process, and the key is to keep that technology very closely connected to those analyst users. And the way we do that, technologically, is we have these rich text mining algorithms that historically have only been run on the source data that the user's looking through, and we apply those same algorithms to the user's working notes. So we apply natural language understanding and machine, technology, uh, machine translation technologies directly to the user's working notes in their authoring tool of choice, like Microsoft OneNote or Word, and within that environment where the analyst is writing, the machine can now see what they're thinking about. And by taking that rich machine-oriented understanding of the user's in-progress working notes, we're able to help the user discover things that previously they would have had to guess a keyword query to find. Let me show you a quick example. On this screen here, there are three window areas. This middle column is OneNote, part of the Microsoft Office suite. These are my working notes on the Lomonosov Ridge. This is a regular browser page that has some text in it about the Lomonosov Ridge. And this is the Diffio for Windows application on the right-hand side. Let me start playing this here so it animates, you'll see what the user's doing. As I'm building these working notes, the Diffio system is analyzing my notes and making recommendations about content that I ought to read. You see these little colored boxes of different heights and widths. The height is the system's confidence that that document is on topic to what I'm studying. And the width is saying how likely it is that I'll find something new that expands my understanding of, in this case, the Lomonosov Ridge. Now the key thing about the Lomonosov Ridge that makes this uh, example come together is that even though it's a geologic feature, it's also of political relevance because the ridge connects uh, two continents. It connects across the Arctic Ocean and touches both the, the Russian uh, continental shelf and also the Canadian and uh, Greenland continental shelves. So it turns out that an analyst studying the Lomonosov Ridge also needs to care about political issues and military issues. And there's a large military buildup on the Russian Arctic. The system is able to help me see that connection chaining through these concepts much faster than if I had to stumble across those ideas through manual keyword queries. You'll see in a moment here, I found a couple more documents that expand that perspective and I'm gonna switch to making notes on the Russian Arctic. So it's this idea of chaining through the concepts that are in the source data and helping the analysts see that more rapidly using machine intelligence and recommendations directly attached to the user's working notes. Thank you for your time.